Hi guys, um, just before we look at this little uh, notebook, uh, just mention a uh, guy popped in today, one of my uh, subscribers, actually a local named Willie, and um, he was saying that I'm having problems with the audio, as some people have been saying. Um, so we had looked for him as a software guy and um, made some changes to the setup, so I'd be interested to know if we have uh, better audio quality now, okay? Uh, if so, cheers Willie. Um, so... I have this little uh, Packard Bell uh, notebook here. Uh, it's pulled into the power. I've had it pulled in for a few hours this morning. The charger light's on and it's just staying on at the moment. And uh, basically with this, when we press the power button, it starts up. I hear the fan make a little noise and the fan goes off, but there's nothing on the screen. Yeah, no picture. And uh, holding the power button and it will shut down after a little while takes a few seconds yeah, there we go so it shuts down uh, so the first thing I thought let's just get an external uh, VGA uh, connection let's see if it's actually doing anything VGA wise yeah so yeah I heard the fan quite quiet came on and went off again uh, the light stays on lights on here but nothing's happening uh, so I think we'll just open this one up and let's have a look to see what's going on with this. Oh, so I've taken the uh, the battery off, yeah, and uh, there was three screws here uh, that I undid, but nothing's coming loose. Uh, I think this is one of these where you probably have to get the keyboard out first. There's probably some little metal clips or something in here. Um, let's have a look see if I can actually uh, get this to lift up. Ah oh, yeah, it's I have it's lifted on this edge, that's good. Um where's that little plastic uh thing, yeah. Spudger, that's what it's called. The plastic spudger, let me find that. It's better to use plastic on plastic to be honest. Okay, so there was a clip there. Um another clip here by the way, sorry it is wrong. Let's get something down here. Oh yeah, that, that's lifting up, yeah, so it looks like if I slide that along and flip these little clips forwards, yeah, there we go. No, that one's just come anyway, they, they, they're coming. Okay, so that's off there, little ribbon cable no doubt, so lift the little uh, thing up, off it comes. I'm guessing it's for the mouse. Um, basically, I was given this uh, by a guy who uh, went back to the UK. Uh, before the lockdown, actually, uh, some some happened in 2019, about May, June, um, and he said it was working uh, until he dropped it, as I remember, and after he dropped it, it wouldn't work anymore. Oh, find a little plastic tub, uh, I think, to keep these screws, and it's always a good idea. Uh, so let's undo these now, and this, by my reckoning, means I will be able to get inside this. I'll probably just pause the video. Uh, while I get the rest of the screws and then we'll carry on. Okay, I've got all the screws out from this side. Um, this obviously is the connector that goes to the uh, screen. So we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try and disconnect this. Yeah, that just comes out quite easily. Okay, um, and then can we get into this from the other side? I think this I think this uh, cover here comes off. So let's see if we can uh, lift that off there. Yeah, I think I've got it going now. I just I just uh, prized up this back corner here, yeah. And it looks like this then just uh, comes off the whole top piece by the looks of it. Yeah, this is, seems to be uh, coming away quite uh, nicely from the, the bottom. Just little plastic clips holding this in place, nothing else. We can uh, just get the last part of it lifted. Oh, there we go. Uh, off it came. Yeah, that certainly came off. Okay, so we're into it. Um, so, as I say, you said this was working till you dropped it. Um, if nothing else, I mean, it's mine, you know. So, uh, as the hard drive, uh, that's a 320 gig hard drive, and uh, nothing amazing, unfortunately. <laughs> well, for the age of it, I'm not particularly surprised. Um, so, we're down to the PCB now. Um, there's the cooling from which I can see it spinning. Um, where's the RAM on this? Is it, I'm guessing the RAM must be on the other side, underneath this cover. Let's see if we can lift this cover up as well. 
Now I'm not sure if this this cover comes off. I mean, it looks like it should. There seems to be a gap. Um, but can I get down into here? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, does this piece? Yeah, it does clip. Ah, oh, yeah. Again, it seems to be held on with uh, plastic clips. Are we getting into that? Oh yes, there we go. So that does, as I say, calf. Is there a screw under here? Interesting. It seems to be stuck just on this little rubber foot here. I was wondering if there's a screw underneath this. The, the other side is just lifted over it, yeah. No, it would seem strange to screw on one side and not the other. Okay, so there we are. Um, so the first thing I'm guessing with this is that something just come loose, yeah. Um, yeah, the wire, the, right, somebody's, looks like somebody's opened this up before. I mean, the the wires are disconnected from the LAN adapter. That's the first thing I notice. We were kind of trapped underneath it, yeah, so. That's the first thing we want to, yeah, let's this out now. Um, is whether this RAM's actually maybe just become unseated? Yeah, that seems to be just, sit, like, resting in place. I think that might, was probably loose, yeah. It doesn't look like it's actually uh, in, a, in at all, really. Not quite sure how you lift this out. There's like a little plastic uh, thing. I'll zoom down a little bit on it. Yeah, so we can see that the, the wires off the wireless LAN is, isn't connected. And this is just kind of like loose, you know. It's not in the board properly. Um, it seems to have got trapped behind this plastic edge here. Um, maybe if I use my uh, soldering aid tool with a flat uh, end or, or, or even the little crowbar, yeah. So I just push this forwards a little bit and get it to come out. Obviously without trying to strain it much, yeah. Maybe this little clip's just, yeah. Okay, it's out. Um, so it's possible uh, that, that that's what it was, yeah. Just uh, the RAM come with that started to make some sense if he says he dropped it and it stopped working. Uh, let's, uh, let's just push that in place. That seems to be seated well now. I think it's inserted all the way, yeah. Um, these I'll just leave them disconnected for now. The uh, hard drive we might as well just t take out, yeah. Or we'll disconnect for now. And of course you'll want me to zoom this back out again. Okay, so we'll take the hard drive off it. Um, if nothing else, I've got a hard drive and a bit of RAM. Um, will be useful for something. I'll, uh, I'll connect the... Uh, on on board screen back up again yeah we'll, we'll, put, we'll put this back on here and then i think i'll just put the battery back in and the uh, power pack and let's see what it does now i've uh, reseated the ram yeah okay looking good yeah it's in there okay let's give that a go so power uh yep yeah, power's on on button Blue light on. Fan stops. Fan tries to spin again. And it's working. Okay, so guys, that was such a simple little repair that. Um, <laughs> hardly worth making a video, really. But um, considering uh, I wanted to test the new uh, volume of the recording, I think, yeah, let's upload this and you guys can tell me if it's actually the sound's better now. While I'm at it, let's put the hard drive in as well. Okay, so I've just connected the hard drive, uh, put the battery back in, the battery charger lights back on. Uh, there's no keyboard or mouse attached, but if it boots into Windows now, I can see we get an external uh, mouse and just uh, sort that out, so I shut it back down. Okay, so uh, it seems to be uh, doing something. Oh, restart Windows. Um, no, I'll, I'll use a keyboard and do that, I'll get an external keyboard on it. Or oh, actually, no, I'll just connect up the existing one. Yeah, so I've put it all back together basically. Uh, let's just uh, try and power it up now and see if it's uh, still working, yeah? Yeah, back on bell, that's coming on, that's good. That's looking good, guys. Let's go the other way, yeah, there we go. So, uh, let's not, yeah, let's just start Windows normally. 
Uh, so this has an English uh, keyboard, I've noticed, but I think it may have a Spanish uh, Windows on it. Interestingly, yeah. Seems to be booting up. Uh, we've got a slightly dodgy letter M. I think that you think it actually works. It just seems to be like some little clips are broken or something on that key. Okay, it's crashed. Fair enough. Um, I think what I'll do with this, and I'll just get a, a USB with uh, Windows 7, I believe this is. Windows 7 starter, yeah. I'll get a Windows 7 to see if I can actually install it. There you go, let's, let's, let's tell it to repair the uh, the installation, yeah. But otherwise, as I say, bootable USB, Windows 7, stick that on it. And um, it should run, I mean, it's, it's uh, 320 gig hard drive, 1 gig of DDR3 RAM, yeah. Go on, what's it going to do now? I can talk about the weather, you know. <laughs> it's been scorching down here. I mean, Monday was a public holiday, yeah. And it was, like, well over 40. I mean, down in Plyde, I Glaze, the big resort, we got these big thermometers around, and one of those was saying 49 centigrade, yeah. Yesterday, all of them were reading between 42 and 45. It's been really hot. And it was the, the wind, it was the air's hot. It's like it's like you've got a hair dryer on full blast pointing in your face all the time if you're outside. So you can't get away with it. I mean, you can't get away from it. Uh, go in the sea, go in the pool. Uh, or in my case, come to the workshop because you've got air conditioning, yeah? <laughs> but okay, this seems to be uh, doing its thing. Uh, I'll um, end the video here. I'll just install Windows off uh, a USB and then we'll have a quick reprise just to see that it's actually working.